Hello everyone. My name is Kalyanam, Director of Research in Sabinsa Corporation. Today, I will walk you through the benefits of curcumin C3 complex. Curcumin C3 complex is a nutritional ingredient. It is not a drug. Therefore, certain disclaimers we want to make before taking you through this presentation. We do not claim curcumin C3 complex modifies any disease, cures any disease, or changes any course of any disease. It is a nutritional ingredient. The whatever I am presenting are the scientific facts from peer-reviewed published literature. Two decades ago, Dr. Majid published an important paper wherein he showed curcumin is bio-enhanced when it is consumed with the piperine. He thought that the systemic effects of curcumin will be better if the effects in the blood, if the, if the curcumin levels in the blood are enhanced, therefore he used to piperine as an adjuvant. And this gave rise to several, this gave rise to the birth of several products in the market. Each one claimed much higher bioavailability than, than the other products in the, in, the, in the market. And last year, we published a book on the reductive metabolites of curcuminoids. The reductive metabolites of curcuminoids comprise dihydrocurcuminoids, tetrahydrocurcuminoids, hexahydrocurcuminoids, and octahydrocurcuminoids. These reductive metabolites have very similar beneficial effects like curcuminoids. After we publish the book, now we see many competitor products claiming that particular product actually enhances more reductive metabolites than, than other products. All these go to, go to show that the Sabinsa is a trendsetter in the curcumin, curcuminoid field. Coming back to the uh, main theme of the presentation, the curcuminoids need to be present in the gastrointestinal tract to have an effect. Curcuminoids have two types of effects, two major types of effects. One is through the gastrointestinal tract, other through the systemic absorption. Both are very important, both are needed. Why the gastrointestinal tract presence is the presence of curcuminoids in the gastrointestinal tract is important because majority of the immune cells are present in the GI tract. Therefore, to influence the GI tract, curcuminoids have to be present in the gastrointestinal tract. And also, the gastrointestinal tract houses something like 70% of the microbiota. Therefore, to influence in a, in a purposeful way, curcuminoids have to be present in the gastrointestinal tract. Also, the curcuminoids undergo metabolism in the gastrointestinal tract to the reduced metabolites, which have very beneficial effects. Let me pause for a second. Uh, there are several preparations in the market which claim higher systemic bioavailability. How do they claim higher systemic bioavailability? It is on a, it is on a wrong scientific premise. They claim the product enhances a metabolite called curcumin glucuronide. They measure this curcumin glucuronide and the, the levels of curcumin glucuronide are supposed to represent the, are supposed to be a degree of indication of higher bioavailability of curcuminoids. Actually, it is a wrong premise. The, no, no, no competitor product gives actually the native unmodified curcumin in the, in the blood. They always measure this inactive metabolite curcumin glucuronide and based on that, they claim that product is more bioavailable. I want you to keep that in mind. Secondly, the, the bioavailability enhancement. So a product may claim 30 times more bioavailable. Is it 30 times more effective? Definitely not so. Then what is the meaning of this 30 times more bioavailable preparation? Which means that the curcumin, the systemic bioavailability is one factor. Maybe an important factor, but equally important is the gastrointestinal presence of curcumin. Therefore, I divided the presentation into two parts. One is the GA bioavailability, GA availability of curcuminoids and the healthful effects, and then the systemic bioavailability and the healthful effects. What are the specific advantages of C3 complex? C3 complex is designed to have a balanced GA-mediated effects as well as systemic effects. 
and uh, C3 complex recommends 500 mg per dose. It, that regimen ensures that pharmacologically active levels of curcumin will be present throughout the GA tract. And those effects are, are the, the amounts are present. The C3 complex delivers per dose enough quantity so that it will influence in a positive way the microbiota. For systemic enhanced systemic effects, one can always consume C3 complex with 500 mg per dose with about 5 mg of bioparin. On the left side, you see a circle that shows the beneficial effects of curcuminoids when they transit through the gastrointestinal tract. The various benefits, some of them I have, I have shown them in the circle here, anti-cancer, effect on microbiome, antioxidant, etc. We should go through them one by one. First is the on the on the GI diseases, especially the the uh, diseases afflicting uh, uh, colon, colorectal cancer or esophageal cancer, intestinal cancer. There are several papers to show that curcumin C3 complex is effective in these disease conditions. It's also effective in oral cancer. And these five papers actually summarize some of the major results on the use of C3 complex in human clinical trial on colorectal cancer. Whenever you see a yellow colored reference, that particular reference is based on C3 complex, not on any generic curcumin preparation. The curcuminoids actually mitigate colon cancer not only by pharmacological means, but also through modified microbiome. They help in the preservation of diverse and healthier colonic microbiome. The microbiome is a word that is repeated quite often nowadays. A 70 kg person approximately has about 200 grams or 0.2 kg of microbiome residing in the colon. The number of microorganisms in the GA tract probably is 10 times more than our own human cells in the entire human body. The genome of these bacterial cells is 100 times more than the genomic content or than the, geno than the human genomic content. Therefore, just want to emphasize the importance of uh, microbiome. And the curcuminoids affect microbiome and microbiome in effect uh, affect curcuminoids. It is mutual, the interaction is very mutual. The microbiome also metabolizes curcuminoids. Some microbiome metabolizes curcuminoids into the so-called reductive metabolites as I was telling you uh, a minute ago. What are the effects of uh, curcuminoids and microbiome? Uh, the, uh, the GE microbiota actually helps in lipid metabolism, metabolism of dietary components, xerobiotics, especially in the synthesis of the so-called SCFA, short-chain fatty acids. These short-chain fatty acids comprise acetates, propionates, and butyrates. And uh, the, the, if you have a healthy microbiota, the synthesis of the short-chain fa fatty acids moves at a first, much faster space, and they are quite important for our, for our health. For a diseased person has a dysbiosis state. That means the microbiota population is not a healthy population, and the curcuminoids restore the dysbiosis and restores it to eubiosis, which is a healthy GE microbiota population. In the first and probably the only double-blind randomized placebo-controlled clinical trial, researchers from the University of California, Davis, and the Temple University, they showed that the C3 complex increased the beneficial GE microbiota population. They also said it has a prebiotic like prebiotic like effects which means the c3 complex promotes promotes the population of good good microbiota they also showed the beneficial bacteroidetes species in in human clinical trial and also they also showed that the c3 complex which is enriched curcuminoids 
it actually has a much larger effect than turmeric. The turmeric is constituted by curcuminoids and also by other constituents. And they showed that it is the curcuminoid content that has a much larger benefit on the GE microbiota than the other components in turmeric. Not as I said, the, the, the interaction between curcuminoids and microbiota is twofold. Curcuminoids influence microbiota and then they help in maintenance of healthy microbiota. And then in, in turn, the microbiota metabolize curcuminoids into useful metabolites. Uh, we saw the anti-cancer effects. We, we saw the microbiome. Now we will move on to the antioxidant effects. The, when the curcuminoids go through the GA, GA tract, they actually increase the, the transcription factor called the NRF2 which increases the expression of several enzymes, antioxidant enzymes like hemoxygenase, etc. Curcuminoids also enhance antioxidant enzymes like glutathione peroxidase and superoxide dismutase. And curcuminoids are very effective when they go through the GI tract against oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is measured by elevations in melondialdehyde in the tissues. And when one consumes curcuminoids, the GI tract tissues contain less MDA than if you do not consume. Therefore, it is very important that there is enough curcuminoids present in the GI tract. And for enough curcuminoids to be present in the GI tract, one should consume enough quantity of curcuminoids. Not only the antioxidant effects, curcuminoids also exert anti-inflammatory effects. The COX-2 is, a, is an inflammatory enzyme. Curcuminoids bring down COX-2. This was shown in animal models, uh, which, I, which I have described here. In a trinitrobenzene sulfonic acid induced chronic colitis, the administration of curcuminoids bring down COX-2. And also, uh, curcuminoids bring down the anti-inflammatory enzyme nf kappa b Again, more on anti-inflammatory effects brought through the GE presence of uh, curcuminoids. As I said, the immune modulation of curcuminoids is an important property. And, uh, and then the immune cells are present maximum in the GE tract. And one should have enough curcuminoids in the GE tract to have the, these beneficial immune effects. Uh, just, just to mention that GI tract is the largest immune organ in the body. Therefore, if you want to influence immune functions, you should consume enough curcuminoids and curcuminoids need to be present in the GI tract. Again, more on uh, immune modulatory effects of uh, curcuminoids. More on uh, immune modulation by curcuminoids. This takes us to the next uh, topic on the prevention of leaky gut. The, our intestinal tissue should not be porous. If we consume toxins, if they go through the intestinal, uh, the so-called leaky gut, the permeable intestine into the blood, you will, you will have ill effects. The curcuminoids are able to prevent this leaky gut, leaky gut phenomenon. And there are certain uh, tight junction proteins called claudine, occludine, and tricholine. And uh, these enzymes are regulated by, by curcuminoids. By consuming curcuminoids, one is able to increase the tight junction, one is able to maintain the tight junction and passage of toxins from the food into the blood. Again, the permeability could be in induced by inflammation. And the curcuminoids are excellent anti-inflammatory agents. They also prevent this. They also prevent this intestinal permeability. And the permeability could also be present through high-fat diet. And the increased intestinal permeability is brought down by the expression of the tight junction proteins, which I mentioned earlier. Again, increased permeability could be due to consumption of drugs. And studies have shown 
by if the drug is co-administered with curcuminoids, the interstitial permeability decreases with health benefits. Curcuminoids are excellent antimicrobial anti agents, like thing, you know, Helicobacter pylori, which is the uh, bacteria for peptic ulcer. Uh, the curcuminoid C3 complex improves their dyspepsia symptoms in patients with the peptic ulcer by having the by bringing down the population of Helicobacter pylori. Again, the effect of curcuminoids on microbial infections. Anaphylaxis is another dangerous effect uh, brought through allergy, and the curcuminoids have excellent uh, anaphylactic effects. And this is also possible only if you consume enough curcuminoids, and enough curcuminoid is present in the jack. As I mentioned to you earlier, dihydro, tetrahydro, hexahydrone, octahydro curcuminoids are the reductive curcuminoids that are formed when curcuminoids transit through the intestine. And the THC is found to be actually a more effective than curcumin itself in certain uh, colon cancer models. Therefore, it is important enough curcuminoid or enough curcuminoid levels are present in the GA tract so that enough of these reductive metabolites could be formed in the GA tract. The next five minutes or so. I'm going to walk you through the systemic effects of curcuminoids. For systemic effects, Sabinsa recommends consumption of curcuminoids along with the bioparic. All these papers describe the favorable health effects shown in several clinical trials. Each one of these papers is a clinical trial result on C using C3 complex. Here, C3 complex alleviates inflammation related disorders, especially the osteoarthritis. The, 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 the three publications on C3 complex, they show that C3 complex significantly reduced WOMAC, VAS, LPFA scores in uh, patients suffering from osteoarthritis. Also, very importantly, by systemic bioavailability, C3 complex also attenuates the oxidative stress in the osteoarthritic patients. Neurological disorders are another important uh, area where C3 complex excels. Uh, one disorder everyone is afraid is an Alzheimer's uh, disease. It is a disease where the so-called beta amyloid deposits are present on the neurons in the, in the, in the, in the brain. And the C3 complex is able to enable the macrophages to, to remove this beta amyloid from deposits around the brain neurons. Again, the papers are, are, have been published C3 complex. And C3 complex is effective in anxiety and depression. And C3 complex is also good for cardiovascular diseases. It brings down serum triglycerides, the bad cholesterols, LDL cholesterol and VLDL cholesterols. And also it attenuates myocardial infarction associated with cardiac surgery. Again, on, uh, related to these cardiovascular disorders are metabolic disorders. Metabolic disorders, you know, include uh, the lipid disorders uh, in a, uh, predominantly. Uh, several papers have been published on C3 complex, wherein C3 complex has brought down the triglyceride levels in obese individuals. It also brought down certain, certain parameters like superoxid dismutase, etc. It also brought down the melondealdehyde, the marker of uh, oxidative stress. All, all these effects are are shown in metabolic disorders by C3 complex. These are all clinical trial results. The, as I said, to emphasize again, the yellow colored uh, references are on C3 complex. More on C3 complex and metabolic disorders.
more on C3 complex and mesometabolic disorders. For these effects, the C3 complex is systemically bioavailable. That is the reason it shows these positive results. On obesity, and another important uh, effect is on C3 complex is on liver. Liver is an organism which metabolizes exogenous materials. And uh, if a fibrotic liver state brings down a disease state, and uh, C3 complex is able to alleviate several other severity in patients with the NAFLD, the non alcoholic fatty liver disease. And the cyto inflammatory cytokine levels are brought down in C3 complex as shown in the clinical trial. Numerous papers have been published on C3 complex on anti cancer effects. I will just go through quickly these slides on pancreatic cancer, head and neck cancer, again the publication in C3 complex, breast cancer, prostate cancer, blood cancers. I will pause for a second here. In this paper published by Ohio State University, they showed that C3 complex is able to maintain. The, is, is able to stabilize the disease progression in majority of the patients with early stage CLL. In this uh, clinical trial, C3 complex and high dose vitamin D was found to be safe and well tolerated by the patients with the CLL. Again, on C3 complex and cancer effects. C3 complex is not only for several of these disorders but also for several other diseases including oral diseases leukoplakia gingival inflammation plagues gingivitis oral lichen planus psoriasis c3 complex is not only antimicrobial as i told you it's also antiviral and that is quite topical nowadays C3 complex is able to suppress the so-called cytokine storm. And uh, uh, there's a paper that was published uh, which showed C3 complex is able to bring down ARDS, a clinical manifestation that results because of viral infection of the lung. Again, the, the reductive metabolites like dihydrocurcumin Tetrahydrocurcuminoids, exo, and octahydrocurcuminoids, they all aid along with curcuminoids in bringing the healthful effects. In summary, C3 complex is a very balanced nutritional ingredient. It has balanced GA effects and also systemic effects. Please spend a, a few seconds to look at this slide. We, we were among the first to be granted GRAS. And we made some of the standards that are needed by USP for standardization of uh, 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 curcuminoids, USP monograph. We helped in formulating the USP monograph. And C3 complex is the brand which has the largest number of clinical tests, largest number of papers. I thank you all very much for your patient listening. Thank you.